organized a number of German states into the Rhine Confederation. People wanted to free their lands from French ruling and demanded a unified Germany. The peacemakers made the German Confederation, which was led by Austria. Based on the people, he used realistic politics, used the blood and iron speech to strengthen Prussia's army and defeated both Denmark and Austria. The rivalry between Bismarck and Napoleon led to the Franco-Prussian War of 1870. Prussia wins. After France won, princes from, from southern German states persuaded William I to obtain the title Kaiser. 1871, German nationalists celebrated the birth of the Second Reich. Bismarck made a two-house legislator. Bismarck made several foreign policies and he wanted France weak while building a strong alliance with Austria. Bismarck made campaigns against the church and socialists. Bismarck believed the Catholics' loyalty were to the Pope. Kaiser asked Bismarck to resign. He resisted efforts to introduce democratic reform. Cavour negotiated a deal with Napoleon. Giuseppe Garibaldi recruited 1,000 red shirt volunteers to help fight for Italy. But after the fight for Italy, Victor Emmanuel II was then crowned the King of Italy. There are many differences between the rich and poor. One of the many challenges that the new nation of Italy felt was that there were many nationalist feelings being stirred into their politics, so there was many feelings of unrest in the nation. Italy developed economically. Government limited industrial development. Habsburg Empire was multinational and was made up of different Slavic groups. States helped create the dual monarchy of Austria-Hungary. They were both independent states, but Francis Joseph ruled both. Nationalist unrest often left the government paralyzed. People staged revolts so that the states in the Ottoman Empire would be divided, but many competing interests led to wars in the Balkans. 